The alveolar arterial gradient, also known as the AA gradient, is the difference between the oxygen at the level of the alveolus and the oxygen level in the blood, but can be calculated by simply taking the alveolar partial pressure of oxygen and subtracting the arterial PO2. However, deriving the alveolar PO2 is a bit more complicated. The partial pressure of oxygen at sea level is around 21 kilopascals. This is then saturated with water vapour in the upper airways before it reaches the alveoli, reducing the oxygen level to 20 kilopascals. The inspired PO2 can be modulated with supplemental oxygen through various different devices, and this will affect the alveolar PO2. This can be calculated accurately through the following equation. The fraction of inspired oxygen is the percentage of oxygen intended for delivery, and this is often quoted on the side of the device being used. This should then be multiplied by the atmospheric pressure minus the partial pressure of water. The atmospheric pressure and the partial pressure of water are affected by the height above sea level, but this is negligible unless at significant heights, so above 500 metres. Therefore, for most of you, this part of the equation is constant. Take an example of a patient on 60% oxygen via a Venturi mask. Their inspired oxygen concentration can be calculated by taking the FiO2, which in this case is 60%, or 0.6 as a decimal. Then multiply this by 101, the atmospheric pressure at sea level, minus 6.25, the partial pressure of water at sea level. This gives the inspired PO2 to be 56.85 kilopascals. To calculate the alveolar partial pressure of oxygen, you simply take the inspired PO2 and subtract the PCO2, divided by the respiratory quotient. The partial pressure of carbon dioxide is approximately equal between the blood and the alveoli. As this is higher than the concentration of carbon dioxide in the air outside the body, there is a further reduction in the oxygen in the alveoli. The respiratory quotient is the ratio of the carbon dioxide produced to the oxygen consumed in metabolism. It's estimated to be 0.8 and is remarkably constant in the body. This slightly increases the arterial blood PCO2 in the alveoli. Next, take the calculated alveolar PO2 and subtract the arterial PO2 on the blood gas. The normal range for the AA gradient is 2 to 4 kilopascals. A high value, above 4 kilopascals, therefore implies there is impaired gas exchange between the alveolus and the blood. You can complete the full module and learn more at learning.bmj.com.